Welcome back to the Turn Bros. And today, we're gonna be stocking this pool pond with some bluegill from our pond. All right guys, we're back at the pond, and this is where we're gonna be getting our bluegill at. I know you guys are probably gonna ask like, well, Brad, you dug this pond out for bluegills and, uh, and fish to be in it. Well, right now, I don't think it's ready. It's really cloudy. And muddy and the fish probably can't see in front of them to even eat that good so we're gonna get them out we'll get most of them out i don't know if we're gonna get everyone out but we're gonna get most of them out of here we're gonna stick them in the pool pond which is gonna be really awesome because we're gonna actually be able to see them other than being in this muddy nasty water so i'm gonna try to do one scoop and when we do got it we do got a bucket right there but and that's where we're gonna put them in transfer transfer them we don't got aeration for them because this is going to be a little bit. This should be fine. And let's see if I get one on my first scoop. If I don't, then it's going to be a long day. Oh, oh we got did. one. First scoop, baby. See, they're really kind of skinny and stuff, too. Mm, really pale. Really pale. Maybe when we add them to clearer water, they actually get some sunlight in them, and then they will look beautiful. But add them to the bucket. One. Man. Yeah, and if we don't catch one in a little bit, we will hurry up and run that guy up to there Let's and come back. Let's see how many we can get in the row. All right, second one. Second one. This time I'm gonna go this way. Nope. Nope. <laughs> All right. Well, we will get with you guys when we catch another one. Yeah. All right. We got. A little warm mouth right there. Go ahead and grab them, Brad. That's a decent one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. And what you can tell about them is that they have really bigger mouths than um, regular bluegill. Like you can lip them like a bass, and they're little. Yeah, they like they like got a bluegill body with like almost like a bass mouth. Yeah, they're really cool. See, that's really a cool, cool fish. Very yeah. aggressive fish yes. too. You catch them. A we're lot. pretty sure that's what's we're raising in our fish tanks. Yep. Yeah, yep. Smaller one of those. Yep. Well, that's number two. We'll get with you guys when we catch another one. Well, well, guys, Brad is in the pond. I fell in on accident. Yeah, he's sitting right here. His both legs on one end. He went to go, try to get out in the middle, and he just slipped. He's like, Brady, catch me. And I couldn't get there in time to help him. And he slid right in there. This is nasty. I did not want to get in this water today. Well, since you're in there, might as well try to get them all now. We're about to just stick with the two because we couldn't get them all the way. Throughout the sides, I think they're down in our deepest pot, and it's in the middle of the pond. So yeah, we're gonna see if Brad can catch any more. That is nasty. That's funny. I wish we had like a tripod stand and hold it with the camera on there. Dude, I legit was just <laughs> they put slowly it. sliding. I was I like, <laughs> catch me. Hopefully, we can catch some more. We only got two though. But if not, then we're going to have to hurry up and head back and put those guys in there. All right, well, we'll get with you. Oh, we got one. I was about to put the camera up. But That's a nice one, too. Yeah, nice bluegill. Big bluegill. There he is. There. This water's freezing, too. There we go. Yeah. Oh, nice bluegill in the bucket. See if we can get another one that Brad catches on camera. Bunch of mud, cook. Yeah, the one thing that we kind of wish we got like cut it, got a blue pond liner, because I think it will stop it from getting all mucky like that. But yeah. Yep. Oh, we got another one. Hurry before he jumps out. He's pretty small. He might go jump through those holes. Oh, he's about to. Got another little guy. Look at them. They're all pale. So I guess this is kind of like a rescue. Are we rescuing them, Brad? Yeah. Nice getting out of our natural pond, I guess. We did put it in here. Yeah. So we're like rescuing our own food. Yeah. But once the water gets clear up, we can probably stock it. It's probably be next spring after the winter time. So these guys will be living in our pool. 
And we're thinking have the how how our filter thingy is running. That'd be good aeration, and it should keep them the water from freezing in the winter time because we are in Ohio. Oh grip. There's another little bluegill, decent one. It's a little bit skinny. They're kind of a little bit. Yeah, they're a little bit all right. They're not the healthiest fish, but we are raising it in our poop pond. Get them really healthy. Let's see if we can catch another one. All right, well, we'll get with you guys either if we catch another one or if we're going to put these guys in our pond, in our pool pond. Okay, so we tried to get all the fishies out of the pond, but Brad had to get out of there. He did not like the feeling of it. He didn't even want to get in there. No, I didn't. But no, I, gotta go I think we got like four or five, I think. Yeah, decent amount. Yeah. We'll count when we put them in. Yeah, the rest is just gonna have to try the best to survive, which they will. I'm pretty sure they will. Once it fills up a little bit more and it gets clearer, they will be just fine. Because we did have fish in here before, before we redo it. And they were all pretty good. So, yeah. So, we're gonna head up to the pool and we'll meet you guys there. All right, guys, we made it back to our full pond. As you guys can tell, it is crystal clear still. I don't know how long it's gonna be crystal clear for, but um, we put two bluegills in here last night to be the t to test out the water, see if they're good. And they're they're still alive in here. They're somewhere in this big pool, either under that structure. They like to hang out over there in the rock area though. But yeah, we're gonna turn the filter off so you guys can see it real good, and we're gonna release these fishies in here, the fish in here. And as we can tell, our pond water is a lot colder than our pool water. So this is actually warm. It's probably because it's getting from the sun, probably. But yeah, so we get the fish in here. Um, we don't really have stuff to acclimate them in, so they might have to be in shock for a little bit. We're about trying to catch one. We're going to count them. So we got a big bluegill right there. Yep. Big and nice blue you. Got a little Beautiful. sore on his lip. Oh, he does, don't he? Hopefully, he can feel better from it. All right. Release him into This is the one. There's one. He might be shocked for a little bit. Oh, he swimmed out. I'm probably just going to stay at the bottom for a little bit. Yep, yeah. there he is right there. Nice. Hey, could you see the other bluegills anywhere? Um, it's really hard to find them when they're underneath the rocks. Yeah. They blend pretty good. That's a nice size bluegill. Yes, it is. That's a nice one. He's chunky, too. I guess they've been doing all right in there. But, all right, here's two. So this that is guy has two. a little bit of his colors. Whoa. Yeah. So I guess they was doing all right in the pond. Well, I just, I just, I just killed him. He's just fine. Oh, he's ready to go. Yep, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's gone. Ready. He's ready. He's going he didn't to like to be slow, touched. He was... Uh, they'll be all right. All right, the guys are trying to get the next one. We got number three, bluegill. He'll get him. Little world one. Fired up. They are ready to go. And there he goes, swimming to the brushes. Fast little guys. He's all the way over there. Yeah, he's just taking no time. He's yeah, just, he's he's just he going. the other guys are sunk to the bottom. He's he's, he's swimming around. He's, he's taking, taking laps. Yep, he's already taking his lap of the pool. Yep. There's the other one. Yeah, I think that's the one. We... They're actually doing really good, except for this guy. This guy's a little bit shocked, but they're actually doing well, really good. Is that good. the other one? I think so, because I don't see him over here. <laughs> don't see him over there. There's one over there, as you can tell, swimming. Yeah, they're doing just fine. And the guy is in the middle. That little guy is. That's pretty cool. All righty, we're getting another one. Here's number four. Little baby bluegill. Brad can get him. He's going everywhere. But here's number that's four. That's the smallest guy going to be in here. Yep. Yeah. Look at him. Swimming around. All righty, so we're going to get this guy in. Smallest dude. You have the smallest little dude. Yeah, there's oh, that's so there. cool. This is awesome. They're doing really good. That might be either the big one we put in already or one of those ones we've had in here. I think these are the ones that we had put just put in here, I'm pretty sure. I'm not yeah. sure where the other ones are at. But they're around here somewhere. They like to hide. Yep, they do. They like to hide over there under those boards over there. They can actually see. Yep, they can see now. They're like, whoa. Oh, they're the mud. Look how muddy that water is. The last guy. Yeah, the warm mouth. mouth. Oh. The warm mouth. Big old warm mouth. That guy's going to be cool to raise up in here. Yes, he is. But, yep. Let's put him in here. Once his color comes back, it'll be awesome looking. 
<laughs> no hesitation. No hesitation. Look at him. Big old boy. And sweet. Uh, I think that's it, honestly. Yeah. We're going to dunk the water out. Look how muddy that water is. Yep, that was it. So we end up getting four. Did we not count? Man, we was. We might have to go look back to the video, but <laughs> either four or five of them. <laughs> that's kind of sad on our part. In here, so that makes it either seven or six bluegills total in this pond right now. Yep, we got at least six regular bluegill, maybe. Six or five, and we got one more now. Yep. Guys swimming right there by that little cave entrance of the log, the thingy. But yep, we're we'll probably come back out here and check on them, or either check. Yeah, pretty much we will. And hopefully they can start eating in a couple days. I know it's going to oh, take yeah. them a little bit to get used to it. But yeah, let's come over here. See if you guys can see. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a little tail. Sticking out right there, maybe. I don't think you guys can see. Oh, I'm not right there. That clear one, right. Oh, good gosh, right there. That's a bluegill just laying underneath that log right there. And we got one right there. Warm mouth is swimming right there. And we got one sitting in the middle, probably trying to accumulate pretty good. But yep. So yeah, we'll check up. We'll bring. We'll come out here later to check on them. So we'll be. guys we're checking on the fishies as you can tell they're schooling up it looks like over there got three of them over there swimming around we got some dude swimming around over someone some fish over there swimming around doing real good you guys are swimming this way but yep well that's going to be it for the video yep we're the turner bros make sure you like and subscribe it'll help us out a lot if you could like and subscribe um, you guys see a lot more content like this and Sooner or later, more to come. And like big bass. Ones, bass, catfish, and stuff like that. And raise them up. And I guess I'll say it again. We're the Turner Pros. We'll see you next time.